everybody and welcome to day two of our at home gymnastics series. I'm Miss Shelby again and today we're going to be working on beam. So for your supplies today you're really going to need some either masking tape or painters tape to lay a beam on the floor. Now if you have an at home beam it's really not that hard to make if you have a really crafty mommy or daddy they can get a um, four by four uh, post and put some little legs on it. So that might be an at home project you might be willing to try to tackle and then you cover it in a carpet or a foam uh, wrapping. But for me, I have my piece of painter's tape laid on the ground. So today we're gonna start with our warm up. So we're gonna do jumps today. Now first we wanna start with our stretch jump. We wanna squeeze our arms and legs and go straight up and down and stretch, stretch, stretch jump. Very good. And now we're going to do our tuck jump. Ready, knees up to our tummy. We want those feet flat or pointed. We do not want to go back to our bottom. So tuck jump, tuck jump, tuck jump. Good job everybody, I want you to do at least 10 of those. Keep going, tuck jump, tuck, tuck, jump, jump. Good job. Now we're gonna do our straddle jump, arms out or up to the side. I like to keep my arms up, up, up. Out and together, point those toes out and together, nice and straight. Straddle jump, straddle jump, straddle jump. Very good, friends. And now we're going to do a split jump. Remember, we put our, our cartwheel leg in front and our opposite goes behind, arms up or out. Split jump, point your toes, split jump, split jump, split jump, split jump. Good job, five of those. And then we're gonna do a star jump. And that's basically a jumping jack. Star jump. Your arms are going to come out and your feet are going to go out in a straddle jump. Good job, friends. Now we've got our heart really pumping and we're going to do our position. If you remember what was yesterday, do you know? Let me hear. That's right, arabesque turn. So let's review that arabesque turn. Heart will leg down. Pointy leg out. I'm going to scoot back a little bit so you can see. Practice it on your beam. Try to stay on your line. Arabesque. Turn. And turn back around. Good. And again. And turn back around. Woo! Good job. <laughs> it is kind of difficult. Today, our new position is going to be the seal. We did these in class, but I wanted to bring in new ones, reviewing some of our old ones. I didn't want to get too far ahead of our lesson plan, so we're going to do a lot of reviewing from past events. So the seal position or the mermaid position, we want to lay down on the ground. We want to squeeze our feet and our legs together while pushing up as tall as we can, squeezing the whole time. Good job, friends. Let's do five. Let's go down and push up. Put your hands as far back as you can, really stretching that tummy and squeezing those legs again and come up. Good job. You see anything, mermaids or seals? Good job. Come down and up. All right. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze those legs. Don't stop pointing those toes. And come back down. And one more time. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Looking around. Good job. I know some of you, my friends in my level one class, y'all are able to put your toes to your head. Some of you might be able to do that. Miss Shelby is definitely not that flexible. So we're going to start on our beam today. Like I said, plenty of space. I've got my painter's tape here on the floor asking mommy and daddy to help you get that tape and put it in a safe place. Painter's tape, of course, will not stick to your hardwood or your laminate. It's very easy to get off. Please don't use duct tape. It will leave residue. So I like to use painter's tape because it's easy to get off. So let's start with our passe hold. That's actually the new thing we were going to do in beam anyway. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna turn this way because my cartwheel leg is my left and it will stay down on my beam. When we go up into passe, we want to make a P with our leg. So our toe is pointing to our knee and we are not laying it flat. It's not a tree in yoga position. We want to point to our knee. 
And so we're going to say passe, and we're going to hold it. Try to switch your feet. Passe, hold. Do the other foot again. Passe, hold. Try to go in releve. Ooh, that's going to be harder. Passe, hold. And do the other foot. Releve. Passe, hold. Good job. Squeezing that bottom, reaching up, up, up through our body. So that's passe, hold. Now, next we're going to do our, excuse me, arabesque turns we already did on the beam, but let's do one more so we can get all balanced. Arabesque, hold it, because arabesques are always good to practice. Let me see, hold it, hold it, hold it. Good job. And we're gonna turn, flip it. Oh, who held it with me? I see you there, good job. Flip it back, ready, one. Two, three, go! Good job, everybody. Try to go up on releve in your arabesque. It's even harder. Good job, friends. Next, we are going to do our levers. So that's the next step in our arabesque. We all know what levers are, but let's review. We're gonna put that cartwheel leg down. This time, we are gonna tip all the way down to the beam. Remember, in your arabesque, you wanna keep your chest up, but this time, we're gonna go down and touch in that lever. Be sure, when your hands start to go down, your foot is going to start to come up, keeping our body straight. Like there's a pole going from your hands all the way down to the tips of your toes. So ready, friends, let's do that lever. T all the way, body control, touch, touch, touch that beam. Good, now when you come up, your whole body comes up, squeezing, squeezing. Good. I want you to do three of those. Ready? Go ahead. Very good. I want you to do three. The next time we're going to do our pivot turns. Now we're going to lock those feet. The cartwheel leg should be in front. Locking that opposite foot behind you, arms up or out. And we're going to pivot turn. Turn in towards the foot that's behind because or you will fall down. Crisscross your legs. Pivot turn. Good. Can you pivot turn back? Pivot turn. Whoop. Good. Squeezing our bottoms. Pivot turn. Squeeze nice and tight. Pivot turn. Good. Because if you turn the other way, up. Oh, I can't do it. Your leg's in the way. So be sure to just practice a few of those pivot turns. The next thing we want to do is our kick steps. Go all the way to the end of your beam. Arms out nice and tall. And kick with pointy toes all the way up to your belly or higher. Kick step. Chest up. Looking at the wall. Now turn around and do it again. Kick, step, all the way up to your belly. Look at the wall. Kick, kick, kick. Good job, everybody. Do that a few times for me. Be sure if ever you want to practice a little bit more on something, pause that video because I'm going to keep moving on so that way we can get everything done in our video. So the last thing we want to practice is our great bonds. We did this as a position a few weeks ago. I'm going to start off on the end of my beam. Arms out to the side. You're going to cross in front of your feet. Step. And then cross behind. Step. Cross in front. Step. Cross behind. Notice how my hips are facing forward the whole time. Keep your body facing the wall. Good job. And I want you to go back. Step in front. Step behind. Good. Step in front. Good. Step behind. Very nice. If you want to get really fancy, go up on releve. Oh, it's a little harder. There we go. Very nice, friends. Now, because beam is so much fun, and that one we really can do at home, we're going to do some of our basic five today on the beam. We would normally not do most of this on the beam. When you're level two, you do practice doing the cartwheels and handstands and your dismounts on the beam a little bit more than uh, level one or under. But today we are going to do our basic five on the beams. So we'll do a front row, back row, headstand, handstand, and a cartwheel. So of course on our front row, remember friends, feet and knees together. We're not using our hands to stand up. We want to stay on our beam and we're going to roll. Ready friends, one, two, three, go. Pushing up tall. Very nice. And because this floor is not exactly as soft as I would prefer it, it's not a gym floor, trust me. I'm going to do one, but I want you to just pause and do several. 
because that would be so much fun. Let's see who can stay on the line and stay super straight for me. Then we're going to do a back row. My little friend isn't with me here today, so I am not going to bonk my noggin on the floor. Uh, go ahead and do those back rolls. And then next, we're going to do our headstand. Be sure to go up against the wall. I'm going to show you one away from the wall today just so you can get an idea of how balanced you really have to be. So I'm actually going to do it on my line. If you still need the wall, go ahead and do it on the wall. But my gymnasts who've been a while, they should be able to do on the floor. So go ahead, put your hands down on the floor, kick up nice and tall, squeezing all the way through. And you can even straddle in and straddle out to do some of our headstands. And then come back down on that line. Perfect, guys. And let's do our handstand on the beam. Ready, friends? Arms up nice and tall, squeezing, T in, T out. Especially when we do our hands in, T in, squeeze, and T out. Good job. Do about five of those for me. Remember, if you're a little wobbly on the floor in the middle by yourself, do them against that wall like we practiced yesterday. Very good. The cool down today, remember yesterday we worked on that good leg split. We're going to do our opposite leg split. Miss Shelby is a lefty, so I'm going to use my right leg. When we go down in that split, I'm going to scoot back a little bit so you can see. That back leg should be flat against the floor, hips facing in front of you towards that foot. Scooch your leg on down. Go as far as you can. It is okay to not go all the way down. That's why we're practicing. And we're going to count to 30. But I want you to pause here. Go ahead and count. Let's see if you can do it. Hold that split. Hold it. Hold it. And we come out of that split. Very good, friends. That was our cool down for today. Now, for coordination and cooperation today, we're going to do scissors on the line. And we're going to do it a little differently today. Watch this, friends. Now, if you remember, scissors are where we cross our feet in front of each other. It's kind of like a grapevine except on in front of you. So I'm going to scissor all the way across and then try to go backwards scissors on the beam. Whoa, Nelly, that's kind of hard. Crossing that midline, I know, I know. Now try to go releve and do your scissors. Criss, cross, criss, cross. Now try to go backwards. Criss, cross. Criss, cross. Very good, friends. Now, this is going to be really hard. When you step with one foot, touch your nose with the other. Criss, cross. Criss, cross. <laughs> Criss, cross. It's kind of hard. Now, one more with our crisscrossing. crossing. We're going to step on the opposite sides of the line. Cross over the line. Cross over the line. Cross over the line. Good job. And go back. Cross over the line, cross over the line. Try to go behind. Excellent job, everybody. Now the last thing we're gonna do is our fun thing. Remember, get that beanie. I have my little friend here today. So go and grab yours. It can be any stuffed animal or a little ball. Make sure mommy and daddy know it's not something breakable. So what we're gonna do is we are going to put our friend on the beam. while doing a lever. Ready, friends? Can you grab your friends and lift them up? Good. Can you put them back down on the beam? Whoa, 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 whoa. Good job. Oh, my leg's not quite high enough. There we go. And up, 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 up. That's really going to help squeeze your arms together. Good job. One more time, we're going to do it. Put your friend down and come back up, 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 up with your friend. Do it a few more times for me. And the last thing we're going to do with our friend after you get done with those levers is we're going to kick over our friend. We're going to jump. So we're going to do a leap or a split leap. We're going to step and we're going to leap over our friend. Landing in an arabesque. Ready? Step and leap with that cartwheel leg. Leap over your friend. Good job. Now by friend, I do mean the beanie baby. Don't lay your brother or sister down on the floor. That might be a bit dangerous, but guys, I hope you had a lovely time with us today at day two of our at-home gymnastics. I'll see you tomorrow.